Alvin Kamara plus NASCAR equals NASCAR's first ever growth and engagement advisor. Yes, Mario, that is right. Alvin Kamara is not only going to be playing football, but he's going to be an advisor for NASCAR. I like this bar, you know, and, and it's definitely going to help the brand of NASCAR become even bigger with the fan base, which is something that NASCAR has been struggling to, to regain a lot. You know, over the past couple of decades, you know, NASCAR has lost its charm. You know, back in the day, it was very, very popular, you know, among other things such as baseball, you know, but, you know, as years go on and basketball and football started taking over the world, they kind of lost their charm. And, NASCAR looks like it's starting to go on the right track. Um, now, according to NASCAR.com, Kamara will, quote, work directly with NASCAR leadership on strategic planning and creating creative opportunities that support its fan development efforts. Um, now, if you're a NASCAR fan, you know that they've been losing a lot of fans because, again, you know, the sports changed a lot and a lot of fans aren't really happy about it. So that so sports really lost a charm over the years. Um, and I have a quote from Alvin Kamara. It says, and I quote, I'm excited they carved out a role for me. I got an office. I got a key card. I feel like I've never had a job besides the NFL. So I got two jobs now. Uh, Sean Payton going to have to give me some downtime. <laughs> um, he also said, it's an honor to be able to team up with NASCAR and be the first ever growth and engagement advisor. I'm excited to use my passion as a fan to help shape their long-term efforts to grow the sport. Um, and I have one more quote here from uh, Pete Jung, who is the chief marketing officer of NASCAR. He says, and I quote, Alvin's uh, journey to NASCAR happened very organically from that initial curiosity to experiencing our events to developing a real and sincere passion for the sport. That's what we're looking to tap into, his insights, perspective, and ideas, and learning more about his experience so that we can enhance what we're doing to engage and develop new fans. Um so, yeah, before I pass on to you, Mario, this article was written by Mike Triplett, who is an ESPN staff writer. So your thoughts on Alvin Kamara not having a second job? I mean, well, first of all, you know, congratulations to Alvin Kamara on your new job. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> instead of seeing him on a field, we're going to be seeing him in an office, Nate. I'm just kidding now. We're going to definitely still see him on the field. But, hey, my guy's got an office. He's got his own. He's got his own ID. Look at Look at, look at that, man. Look at that. I do like Alvin Kamara. I think he's a funny guy. I really do. But um, I'm glad that he is joining NASCAR. You know, and you start seeing a lot of and you start seeing a lot of uh, build up going towards NASCAR. You know, when Michael Jordan and when he created um, we created his team in NASCAR. Now you got Alvin Kamara coming in and NASCAR is growing, you know, and it does deserve a growing fan base because NASCAR is a very entertaining sport. If you know how to watch, it. obviously, people are like, don't we go around in circles? But there's a lot more than that. You know, NASCAR, I do feel like is a is, is a very uh, entertaining sport to watch. Um, but, yeah, it's going to help with fan growth and development, which I think is definitely a big, big thing. You know, I feel like somebody like Alvin Kamara and his star power in the NFL could definitely draw fans to NASCAR without him even having to do anything. Um, he did. It says it in the article right here. It says they did. He, he was invited to the uh, first race at Homestead Miami Speedway. And he came out in support of uh, driver I mean, Bubba Wallace when the, uh, uh, during that time of what happened. And, um, and yeah, he has recently became a NASCAR fan. I'm glad that he is. I'm glad that he is joining NASCAR and, and again, going to be working at some place that he loves to watch. You know, he's a big, he turned into a, a fan of NASCAR recently and he wants to work with them on growing the sport. I do respect that because again, that's something that we all try to do. You know, I like this. So I'm going to try to persuade someone or show someone that this is an entertaining thing to watch. And I like NASCAR, you know, I don't catch it as much as all the other sports, but I do like NASCAR. You know, I do like watching Daytona, Talladega, the Brickyard, um, so many, the Spring Cup championships. I, I do I do love watching it, you know? I do follow up on it. I do know a lot of NASCAR drivers, so I do know what goes on. So it is a very entertaining sport, you know, and I'm glad that Alvin Kamara is bringing more attention to it. I really do. Um. Again, like like I said, he's going to be helping gain more fans to this sport, which is definitely I'm, I'm all for, you know, because NASCAR, it is an entertaining sport when you really get to do when you really get to watch it. So honestly, Nate, I do wish Alvin Kamara the best of luck. Again, I don't know how that time is going to go between him and Sean Payton. First of all, I'm just going to say this when you're when you're Alvin Kamara and OK, Sean Payton, when this man does what he does for your team, he deserves a little bit of time off to go work in an office and figure out stuff, you know, <laughs> but. Overall, again, I do wish Alvin Kamara the best of luck in his new role with NASCAR. I do wish him the best of luck this upcoming NFL season, and we'll see what happens, eh? 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, best of luck to Alvin Kamara. We're working with NASCAR. Yeah, I love always bringing more attention to the sport, you know, because like I've been mentioning before, you know, NASCAR kind of lost its charm. You know, you look at other sports from back in the day, baseball, hockey, they all had such, and NASCAR all had such huge charms back in the day. But then football and basketball took over the world, and now these sports really are. They, everybody still follows up with them, but nowhere near as much as basketball and football like we do now. You know what I mean? You'll get that everyday occasional fan who, who does follow up with those three sports that I mentioned. But other than that, you know what I mean? Pretty much everybody follows up with, with uh, basketball and football. But, um, yeah, I'm glad Alvin Kamara is, is doing whatever he can to work with NASCAR and help grow the fan base even more, you know, bring back that charm that once was. You know, and, and I hope he does, you know, because like, like you said, Mario, that NASCAR is very entertaining to watch. You know what I mean? But over the years, like I said, a lot of rules were made that kind of drove fans away from the sport. So that's why, that's why its charm has been lost. But again, with his creative mind, I hope he does bring back that charm for NASCAR and the fans come back and NASCAR can go back to the way it was before. I do hope that. So um, with that being said, Mario, uh, best of luck to Alvin Kamara, best of luck to NASCAR. Um, I'm not sure when the next race is, so if you know, let us know down in the comments below. I do follow it a little bit, but not as much as the other sports. Um, so best of luck to NASCAR and Alvin Kamara. Best of luck to Alvin Kamara in the season, and we'll see what happens with them.